you understand? Maintaining discipline and character becomes very challenging when individuals are given considerable authority, such as in the case of police officers. Today, we'll go through some instances where corrupt cops fail to handle their authority, leading to crazy lawsuits. On the 27th of July, 2018, single mother Lilia Matina arrived at the Parma Justice Center, a building that houses both a police department and municipal courts to drop off her son for a visitation with his father. However, during the exchange, Matina was allegedly recording the entire event with her phone. As one of the officers confronted her, she got scared and started to jog outside the building. She eventually got out of the building into the parking lot and started to run once she saw several police officers who had started to follow her. After a few minutes, the officers got into a struggle with her and she was eventually taken to the ground and arrested. She was then escorted back inside the police department. Matina was immediately met with a hostile reception as one of the female officers confronted her and started to search her down aggressively. However, Mitana had clinched her fists and refused to open them up, despite the officer repeatedly asking her to. Faced with resistance, the female officer decided to bring in a restraint chair, as the other officers kept pressing her against the wall with force. Do you speak English? Does she speak English? Yeah, she does. However, as if this wasn't enough, the officers went over to use excessive force once again, as Matina found herself in a restraint chair, surrounded by five egocentric officers. Still, Matina had not opened one of her hands, and the officers were getting desperate at this point. That's when one of the aggressive cops did this. The corrupt cop shoved a metal pen-like device into the back of her hand and was in no mood of stopping as he went over to check her other hand. Open your hand. Open your hand. Yeah. 
During the entire confrontation, Matina did not speak a single word. However, within days of her arrest, she was charged with contempt of court, resisting arrest, and obstructing official business. Just one week before trial, she decided to plead guilty to a misdemeanor charge of disorderly conduct as the other two charges were dropped. She was sentenced to 10 days in jail, but even that was suspended and she was only required to pay court costs. However, later in July 2022, Matina filed a lawsuit against the Parma police and corrections officers for using excessive force. As of now, there's no update regarding the lawsuit, but we can hope that these officers end up paying for their actions. This next cop witnessed his illustrious career come crashing down in one night. Well, you got been a cop for 35 years. Well, then you gotta listen. I know. On the 29th of October, 2023, a concerned lady contacted the Wyoming Police Department claiming that her husband was verbally abusing her and also refusing to leave her house. As cops arrived at her house, they discovered that her husband had left the premises in his truck. Eventually, they pulled him over in a shell station. Put your hands up! Hold the channel. Holding the channel. Put your hands up! Turn around and put your hands behind your back! Turn around, hands behind your back! I got me. All units on central hold your traffic for emergency. Turn around, put your hands behind your back! Turn around, put your hands behind your back! Other side. Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Keep your hands up! It was later revealed that the individual in question was a St. Bernard Police Sergeant Michael Matheson, who got into a fight with his wife at a Halloween party. On top of everything, the sergeant was still in his Halloween costume. Put your hand in the air, both of them! Left hand, too! He's got something in his left hand, we can't see what it is. Put your hands up! Put your left hand in the air! Put your left hand in the air! You're under arrest! Put your hands in the air! Put your hands up! All right, Dawson, move up. Yep. Keep, Keep your, your hands, hands up. out of your pockets! Put your hands up! Yep. Yep. Put your hands up! Keep your hands out of your pocket! Fair. You're gonna get tased! Keep your hands out of your pocket! Go ahead. Here, I'm a it's shocking to witness a sergeant reacting this way when confronted by the police, as one would expect him to be well-versed in all of the protocols. However, finally, the officers went over to arrest him, and that's when he revealed his identity. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to fight you, dude. I'm not going to fight you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I swear to God, there's nobody in my face. No, no, sir. I'm not going to fight you. Listen to me. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not gonna fight you. I swear to God. Well, you gotta listen to us, man. I'm trying to. Please help me. What area do you need? 32. We got boys. We've been a cop for 35 years. Well, then you gotta listen. I know. Then why didn't you listen? <laughs> Don't blame me. The sergeant claimed that he had been a cop for 35 years, as if it was going to erase his entire demeanor throughout the arrest. It only made the matter worse, making it much more embarrassing for the experienced officer. Hey, I'm 32, I'm with them. Let's go to the ring. Dude, I'm not going to fight. Let's get out of the ring. I'm not worried about your fight now. I'm not, well, I'm not going to. I don't want to do this. You have, do you have a gun no, or anything on you? I have you? nothing on me. I don't, I don't have my weapon. No. Sit down. I don't. My wife and I were at a party. We had an argument. All right, That's have a seat. Get out the sergeant might have also had a little too much to drink that night, as he didn't seem to be in his complete senses. Eventually, he was taken to the police cruiser and placed in the back seat, as he kept trying to make amends for his earlier actions. That's all it is. I would never hurt any of you. I'm a policeman. Where at? St. Bernard. Okay, well you have to listen. I know. You know why you know. why would you not just do as 
you were told. It's not it's not that difficult. You know that. I was just calling my daughter. That's all I was doing. Right. I was making a phone call. I was calling my daughter. I just wanted her to know what was going on. Okay. And I'm sorry. That's okay. I wouldn't hurt we'll you. We'll talk to you here in just a minute. Why would you think I would ever hurt you? I don't know you. I know you don't. I know you don't. Alright, we'll talk here in a minute. We'll talk here in a minute. Hold on. We'll talk here in a minute. The Wyoming police officers cited Michael for obstructing official business. However, he was not physically arrested on the spot and was later released at the gas station to his daughter. The St. Bernard Police Department placed Michael on paid administrative leave after the altercation and has launched an internal investigation into the scene. The sergeant might get a layoff, but the following officer was immediately held accountable for his actions. Sit down or are you right. going on your do you understand me? Oh, okay. Sit down. On the 1st of July, 2022, Antioch police officer Matthew Nutt was on his routine patrol route when he observed a vehicle without a valid license plate. Soon, he decided to pull the car over and went over to talk to the driver. What's going on? Oh, it's over. Uh, stopped because of no plates. Oh, yeah, you stopped. Dude, it's you oh, again? Gosh yeah, dang, nah, bro. He gotta, uh, he gotta just go to the uh, DMV because it, it got stolen before. You're so killing it, me, man. So he gotta go to the DMV and just get it, uh... Gosh dang it. Uh, you got your ID again? Do you have a L's on you? Do you? I got my ID. Do you have a license? No, I don't got a license. Yeah. Alright, can I see your ID too? I'm just a passenger. No, I know, but I need to verify if you have a license so I can see if somebody can actually drive this thing. And I don't got no license. It seemed like Officer Nutt had some history with the passenger, as he seemed to recognize him immediately. The officer took both of their licenses and went back into his police cruiser. That's when he discovered an alarming thing. The passenger, identified as Terry Robinson, also had an active felony warrant out for his arrest. Both your hands on the back of your head, please. And then step out of face away from me. What's up, man? Hands on top of your head. What's going on? Hands on top of your head. Spread your feet. Hang on, hang on. You're just being detained. Oh, I'm good. Okay. You got anything on you? No, no, no. I don't got nothing on me. We just coming out. Okay. You guys brothers? Yeah, that's my little bro. Okay. I can see in the other thing right here. On this thing right here. Now, so to be you have you have uh, two warrants on Santa Cruz. Okay. Officer Matthew placed Robinson under arrest, and he complied fully and didn't resist as well. However, things were about to escalate once Robinson discovered why he was being arrested. That's not me, bro. That's not me. Date of birth and everything. No, that's listen, listen, listen. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. No, let me tell you. Because no, listen. I went to I went to court, right? I went to court. Okay, listen. let's let's talk in the car, bud. Come on. I, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Listen, listen, listen. No, I, I can't sit back there. Just let me. Come let on. Me talk. I'm having hey, a panic Jerry. attack. Robinson exclaimed that he was having a panic attack, but the officers chose to ignore it as they were not ready for any conversation. Another officer had joined in and they both kept making matters worse for him. Stop resisting. All right, all right. I'm not resisting. All right, I'm gonna get in the car. 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 Don't all right, this. bro, I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna get in the car. Just let me up. I'm gonna get in the car, please. I'm gonna have a panic attack. I'm gonna have a panic attack. No, I'll be having panic attacks, bro. You need to relax. You're creating. Okay, stand up and get in the car. Okay, all right. I'm gonna bring you down again. All right, okay. The way I took you down now, I will take you down again. All right. And harder. All right. Stand up. All right. Get in the car. All right, all right. I'm gonna bring you down again. All right, okay. All right. The way I took you down now, I will take you down again. All right. And harder. All right. Stand up. All right. Get in the car. All right. Is it unlocked? All right. Stand up. Stand up. What are you on tight? Can you on tight in the cuffs? Please. 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 Sit down. Please. Sit down, bro. Can you take P2? Get I'm... in the car. Sit down right, or you're right. going on your... Do you understand me? Oh, okay. Sit down. However, the officers were about to lose their patience, particularly Matthew, who went on a disturbing rage episode. 
have a family concern. Get in the car. I'm gonna have a family concern. I need medical. 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 No one's choking me. Get in the car now. All right, let me get in the car. Get in the car. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Get in the car now. I'm getting in. All right, stop, bro. Stop. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Keep an eye on the driver, dude. I don't want him reaching for anything. I'm getting in, bro. I'm getting in. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. I'm getting in, bro. Robinson was in visible distress, and the devastating episode was not ending anytime soon. The officers, filled with anger, refused to settle down until he was locked inside the patrol car, and what followed was nothing short of terrifying to witness. Get in the car now. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Sit down and put your feet in the car now. All right. Okay, bro. All right. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Let me get up. I'm getting in, I'm getting in, let me get out! Let me get out! I need medical. I'm getting in, let me get in by myself, let me get in by myself. Get in! in. Okay. Alright, now I'm getting in, I'm getting in, bro! Put your fucking foot in the car. I'm getting in. Alright, let me pull my... The cuff's tight. Pick up your left foot. Pick up your left foot. Pick up your left foot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't care about your call. I'm in the car. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Hey, hey, I need medical. I need medical, bro. I need medical. Pull over. I need medical. All right, all right. All right, all right. Officer Matthew had completely lost it at this point, as he didn't let his frustration be limited to Robinson only. Put your hands on your head now. Hands on your head. Step out of the car. Take off the seatbelt. Step out of the car. I didn't even do nothing. You mean to tank your friend from an apple? Next thing, there might be something in the car. Can you put my I need a second on? set. My other one's on the other. Excuse me, sir. Can you put my purple on the car? Robinson's friend was also arrested, and the officers went over to search the entire car. Throughout the encounter, not a single officer approached Robinson to inquire about his condition or whether he required medical assistance. Robinson was punched, thrown to the ground, and elbowed multiple times before he was arrested. You all good? Yeah. You're dated, but yeah, you're good. Is this all over the kit? Is this all over the kit? Huh? Is this all over the kit? You no. Know? I went to, well, so I went to 2005 to try to look at it. However, soon after this incident, the Antioch Police Department launched an internal investigation into the scene and found out that Officer Matthew had breached the department's policy. Therefore, he was immediately fired from his position. Nevertheless, the consequences didn't end there, as he was also charged with one misdemeanor count of assault by a public officer. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. The cases we went through today showed some of the most significant mistakes made by these officers during their careers. The first cop's actions caused a lawsuit. The other two ended up under investigation, and one of them was immediately fired from his position. This video underscores the importance of employing de-escalation tactics and the necessity for police officers to undergo anger management training. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video, and also make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.